Cyber security is one of the most in-demand and fast-growing fields in the world today. As more and more aspects of our lives depend on digital technologies, the need to protect them from malicious attacks also increases. But how do you become a cyber security professional? Do you need a degree in cyber security to enter this field? And is it worth the time, money and effort to pursue one? The answer to these questions is not straightforward as there are many factors to consider when deciding whether a cyber security degree is right for you. In this video, we will explore some of the pros and cons of getting a cyber security degree as well as some alternative paths to consider. But before we begin with this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So let's understand the growing importance of cyber security. Cyber security is no longer afterthought for businesses and organizations. It's a core component of their strategies. As technology continues to advance, so do the tactics of cyber criminals. From data breaches to ransomware attacks and identity theft, the consequence of cyber security threats can be devastating. The impact of these cyber dangers can be very harmful. To prevent these threats, companies and groups must take cyber security seriously. They need to put safeguards in place to protect their system, data and customers. It's not something that can be overlooked. In fact, it should be a top priority. A breach in security can lead to financial losses and damage to a company's reputation. As technology keeps advancing, it's crucial for businesses to keep up with the latest cybersecurity practices to stay safe. They must be vigilant and prepared to defend against cyber threats. Cybersecurity is no longer just a choice, it's a necessity. Alright, so this was about the growing importance of cybersecurity in today's world. Now, let's have a look at some pros of a cybersecurity degree. The increasing reliance on technology, the internet and cloud services means that more sensitive data is at risk. This is where cybersecurity professionals comes into play. They are responsible for safeguarding digital assets, protecting privacy and preventing potential catastrophes. The significance of their role in today's society cannot be overstated. A cybersecurity degree can provide you with many benefits, such as a solid foundation of technical and theoretical knowledge. A cybersecurity degree can teach you the fundamental concepts, principles, and techniques of cybersecurity, such as cryptography, network security, malware analysis, digital forensics, ethical hacking, and more. You can also learn about the legal, ethical, and social aspects of cybersecurity, such as data privacy, compliance, and governance. Next is a competitive edge in the job market. Yes, it provides you a competitive edge in the job market. A cybersecurity degree can demonstrate your commitment, credibility, and competence to potential employers. According to 2019 report by Burning Glass Technologies, 88% of cybersecurity job postings requires at least a bachelor's degree, and a cybersecurity degree can also help you meet the eligibility criteria for certain certifications such as CISSP or CISM, which can boost your career prospects and salary potentials. All right, so the third one is a wide range of career options. So a degree in cybersecurity provides you a wide range of career options and opportunities. A cybersecurity degree can open the door to various roles and sectors in the cybersecurity field, such as information security, penetration tester, security engineer, security consultant, cyber threat intelligent analyst, and more. You can also work in different industries that need cybersecurity professionals, such as finance, healthcare, government, education, retail, and more. Next one is cons of a cybersecurity degree. So let's have a look at this. So a cybersecurity degree also has some drawbacks, such as first is a high cost and time commitment. A cybersecurity degree can be expensive and time consuming to complete. So depending on the level of type of degrees you choose, associate, bachelor's, master's, you may need to spend two to six years of a full-time study and pay tens of thousands of dollars in the tuition fees. You may also need to take out like student loans or work part-time to finance your education. Next one is a fast changing and dynamic field. A cybersecurity degree can provide you with the strong foundation of knowledge and skills, but it may not be enough to keep up with the ever evolving nature of cybersecurity. Cyber threats are constantly changing and becoming more sophisticated while new technologies and tools are emerging and disrupting the field. You may need to update your skills and knowledge regularly through self-learning, online courses, 
certifications or continuing education programs so now the third one which is a challenging and stressful work environment so a cyber security degree can prepare you for a challenging and rewarding career but it can also expose you to a high pressure and demanding work environment you may need to deal with tight deadlines heavy workloads complex systems unpredictable situations and constant threats you may also face ethical dilemmas legal issues or emotional stress from dealing with sensitive data or incidents so this was about the cons of a cyber security degree so we have covered pros and cons of a cyber security degree now next we will move on to the next topic which is alternatives to a cyber security degree so a cyber security degree is not only a way to enter or advance in cyber security field there are some alternative paths that you can consider such as boot camps boot camps are intensive training programs that teach you the practical skills and tools needed for a specific role or domain in cyber security they usually last from weeks to a few months and are delivered online or in person by experts or instructors they can help you gain hands on experience through projects or simulations and prepare you for the certifications or job interviews one of the example is the alternative of a cyber security degree that is certifications so certifications are the credentials that validate your knowledge and skills in a specific area of topic of cyber security so they are usually offered by professional organizations or vendors and require you to pass an exam or complete a project they can help you demonstrate your competence and credibility to employers or clients and enhance your career opportunities or salary potential some examples of this kind of certifications are the cyber security masters program professional certificate program in cyber security advanced executive program in cyber security etc so if you are looking to become a cyber security expert and gain handsome salary packages then have a look at a wide range of cyber security courses by simply learn in collaboration with top universities across the globe by enrolling in any of these certification programs you will gain expertise in skills ethical hacking penetration testing defensive cyber security cryptography ransomware analysis malware analysis firewalls network security vulnerability assessment and much more so what are you waiting for just hurry up and enroll now find the course link in the description box so now coming to the next alternative that is self learning yes self learning is a process of acquiring new skills and knowledge on your own using various resources and methods you can use books blogs podcast videos online courses or other materials to learn about cyber security and the topics related to cyber security that interest you or are relevant to your goals you can also use online platforms tools or labs to practice your skills and test your knowledge some examples of self learning resources are cybery hack the box or try hacking so this was about the alternatives to a cyber security degree so whether a cyber security degree is worth it or not depends on your goals a degree can help you get certain jobs but there are other ways to succeed like getting certifications or learning on your own think about what you want to do how much money you have and what you want to learn it's important to keep learning about cyber security because it's always changing the value of degree is about how well it helps you to reach your goals in the cyber security world so choose what's best for you based on what you want to achieve all right guys with that we have come to the end of this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i hope it really help you all thanks for watching stay safe and keep hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here